birds of the sky, the fish of the sea. The whole land going to be cleared. It's going to be a wilderness. It's going to be desolate. He, 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 he's kicking out the, the ten tribes of the northern kingdom out of the land of Samaria. That's where they were dwelling. Because they didn't want to listen. <laughs> the Most High is patient. And he's loving and he's kind. But don't test him. And so that's what the ten tribes of the northern kingdom did. They test the Most High's patience. They test his kindness. <laughs> I don't know why they want to do that, but that's what they did. And so that's what all of the tribes have done. Uh, even the su southern kingdom now, because we're all scattered. But it's high time that we wake up and smell the coffee and get it right. Repent. Hallelujah. Believe the gospel of the kingdom. It's for the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Hallelujah. Let's go to Hosea chapter 4, beginning at verse 4. That neither anyone may plead, nor anyone reprove another by my people, or as a priest spoken against. And so, this is how the children of Israel are. Even the priests, people don't want to listen to the priests. The priests don't know what they're talking about, and people don't want to listen. And so, everything is just gone haywire. <laughs> Same way it is today, all these so called churches where you go. On the first day of the week. And then some of y'all go on the seventh day of the week. These antichrist church system, These 501c3 corporations. And something in your gut telling you this ain't right. <laughs> but you still go there. That neither anyone may plead. Nor anyone reprove another. But my people are as a priest spoken against. And. And people just don't know what to say, don't know what to do because they're hearing stuff and they're, they're it, everything not landing up because you're in these religions. You're taking the scriptures out of context, trying to make the scripture fit your religion institution. It don't add up. The scriptures are not written for a religion or to a religion. It's written to a people. The chosen people, the 12 tribes of Israel. But you keep trying to make it fit your religion institution. That's why things are not adding up. Hosea chapter 4, verse 5. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. Hallelujah. And so the Most High is saying, this is what's going to happen. Y'all not going to be my people for much longer. Y'all time is quickly winding up. <laughs> I've I given you chance after chance after chance, and you still don't want to listen. You still don't want to do right. Don't want to obey me. Don't want to humble yourself. Therefore, shalt thou fall in the day. And the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother, your land, your homeland. You won't ever be able to come back here, not, not until I bring you back. Once I kick you out, you're going to stay out. <laughs> Ain't no coming back. Not to this land anyway. And so that's what's going on with the children of Israel, the ten tribes of the northern kingdom. And like I said, it applies to all of the 12 tribes right now because we all got kicked out of the land. We all disobeyed. <laughs> Hard-headed, knuckleheads. And we're still the same way to this day. Stiff-necked, hard-hearted. Won't humble ourselves. Because we think the scriptures are written to anybody and everybody. It's not. It's only written to the 12 tribes of Israel. Hallelujah. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed.
for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of the Most High. I will also forget thee and thy children. So that's what's going on. And it's still going on to this day. <laughs> I'm almost speechless because it's, I can see it clear as day. We don't want to listen. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because we have rejected the knowledge. The Most High has given us anything and everything that we want and need. We don't we wouldn't need for anything. Same way he did for Adam and Eve in the garden. They didn't need or want for anything. But the devil deceived them and made them feel like they was missing out. Like the Most High is holding out on them. He told them not to eat from that tree. They rejected the knowledge. And so that's what the children of Israel, we're still doing what Adam and Eve did, rejecting the knowledge. The Most High is telling us who we are as a people. We're rejecting the knowledge. Ain't no Israel. Ain't no Jew. Ain't no tribe of Judah. I'm not an Israelite. I'm not a Hebrew Israelite. I'm a Christian. I'm a Muslim. I'm a Hindu. I'm a Buddhist. I'm a Catholic. I'm Islam. <laughs> rejecting the knowledge that we're the chosen people. But you believe the lie. The Most High said, I'm going to send them a strong delusion that they will believe the lie. And that's what he did. All these, the, the religions are a strong delusion because you have believed the lie. Because you have rejected the truth. You have rejected knowledge. Yahweh Shai Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And you have rejected him. As the Messiah of Israel. Everybody go around saying, yeah, I believe in Jesus. But nobody want to say, yeah, he's the Messiah of Israel. How can you speak the name of the Messiah, Jesus, or Yahweh Shai? Yahuwah. Yeshua. And then don't mention the children of Israel. You want to act like they, they, they're not synonymous with one another. Yahweh Shai, Jesus is the Messiah of Yisrael. That's who he is. But don't nobody want to say, identify him as the Messiah of Yisrael. They want to say, yeah, I believe in him. He come to save everybody. He didn't come to save everybody. They want to say they believe in God. Yahweh, the Most High. But they don't want to acknowledge him as the God of Israel, Yahweh of Israel, the Most High of Israel, the Holy One of Israel. Act like he's not synonymous with Israel, his children, his chosen people. That's because of religion. And so you rejected the truth. You rejected knowledge. He said, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy Elohim. The law is for Israel. It's not written to everybody. All these religions say, oh, you ain't got to keep the law no more. They're lying to you. I will also forget thy children. So that's what the Most High has done. Y'all want to forget me? Okay, I'm going to forget y'all. I'm going to scatter y'all. <laughs> and that's what he did. And I'm telling you the truth, but still a lot of y'all are like, huh? What? What are you talking about? Still think you're not Israel. <laughs> Hearing, but you can't understand. Because you're caught up in these 501c3 corporations. The Antichrist church system. Hallelujah. But the Most High, He's faithful and just. To forgive us. That's why he sent Yahweh Shai, Jesus.